Hello, FAB. Today is Friday, November 22nd, an odd day. I'm Connor. And I'm Richard. And in today's announcements, want a sweet treat after school today? Key Club will be selling candy grams in the foyer at 2.15 with all proceeds going towards future Key Club activities. And a reminder for all Key Club members, if you would like to be a due-paying member, make sure to drop off your $17 to either Mr. DeLance in room 2125 or Mrs. Flannery in 2229 by the end of the day. Learn to Be Club will be meeting on Monday in Ms. Newell's room, 1105. If you are someone who would enjoy tutoring other students or could use some service hours, it's a great opportunity for both. Stop by the meeting to get more info and have some ice cream and snacks while you're there. And now over to Connor. Monday, Hornets for Hope will be selling gobble grams in the house one foyer after school. Just $2 in all proceeds will go to Paige's Butterfly Run. Seniors, the deadline to get your yearbook recognition ad is quickly approaching. If you'd like to add one this year, make sure to visit JostinsYearbook.com and search for Fayetteville Manlius High School. You'll find all the details you need there. Ads are due by November 30th. Finally, the girls volleyball team is in action later today at States. Before they headed out, Jeremy caught up with two of the seniors to learn more about this exciting playoff run. Welcome back to FM SBN FM. I'm Jeremy, and today I'm joined by Kalina and Lara. The girls volleyball team is headed to the state final four. As the captains of the team, what have been some of the keys to being able to make a run this far? Um, I would say bonding on and off the court, especially off the court. I mean, we go out to team dinners, we go over to each other's houses, and then on the court, we focus on not taking everything so seriously because it just makes us play better and have more fun. You recently swept Niska Yuna in the regional to advance the states. What does it mean to both of you to be a part of the program's first state final four appearance? First of all, I think it's super exciting that this has never been done before. And with our coach, he's never gone either, obviously, and he's retiring pretty soon. So to be a part of something like this with him is, makes it that much more special. Is there anything else you'd like to share about the team this year? We really are excited to go to Glens Falls to play in the state chip, and hopefully we'll bring home the banner. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Girls Volleyball heads to Glens Falls on Friday at 3 to the state final four. From FMTV, I'm Jeremy. Thanks, Jeremy, and go Hornets. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Connor. And I'm Richard. Have, have a, a great, great day, day FM. FM.